talking about global warming certainly gets people heated up. You have the people who want our policies changed right now, and then you have another view that it's all just a natural occurrence and that maybe all this hype is set up to make laws to keep the rich people rich and the poor still poor. Activists at times will twist studies to pull on your heartstrings to want you to send in more money to their causes. And big business wants things to stay the same so that our economy, that's currently based on consumption, doesn't get a bad rap. Well, it all gets confusing. I mean, there are real effects the animals we share this planet with are facing right now. Here are just a few recent observations, and I will try to keep it simple. And with my third grade artistic skills, it should really be simple. What most people can agree on is that we are now in a climate change, and that this change is affecting wildlife in a way that we've never seen before. The poster children for this, of course, are polar bears. Right now, the ice that the polar bears hunt up in Canada and Alaska is shrinking at a crazy rate that's never been seen before due to a global warming period. You see, the polar bears need ice to walk out on so they can hunt seals and travel around. A lot of the bear populations have dropped. For instance, in the Hudson Bay population of bears, they have recorded a 22% less bears. That is almost one out of every four bears gone. And with studying their skulls, they are seeing that the bears are actually getting smaller. Another scary observation and blow to their populations are that since the big male bears are staying on shore longer, waiting for this ice to form, they are turning to bear cubs for a food source instead of seals. Ouch! This change in our climate is also affecting wildlife that lives in warm places like Africa. Kenya and eastern Africa have just seen the worst drought in well over 25 years, and this affects animals like the lion. You see, the lion eats hoofstock, like the wildebeest and zebra, and all animals need water. So these rivers that supply this resource are drying up. For instance, the famous Mara River has recently lost about 40% of its water due to deforestation and increased agriculture. Combine that with the El Ninos this area has seen as a result of climate change, and you have all these food items for predators like the lion using other routes to take food, as well as having their populations fall due to this lack of water. These lions in eastern Africa are dropping already due to other actions, like people poisoning the water in fear of these lions killing their livestock, as well as so if all this continues, Africa's most popular big cat may be a thing of the past. But these big guys aren't the only ones who fear climate change. For instance, take the smaller animals like the reptiles and amphibians that are affected by climate change. If the ponds and lakes dry up a little, then these little guys are more affected by ultraviolet rays through their light skin, which can lead to the spread of disease, a shrinking habitat to breed in, also makes the spread of disease a lot easier, and as a result, smaller frog populations are reported all around the world. Speaking of disease, the chytrid fungus is claiming the lives of many amphibians, especially in Australia and South America. See, this fungus isn't being killed off as easily as in the past, since the Earth's warming and cooling cycles are all out of whack. Well, we didn't even get to talk about the sea turtles and the many, many other animals that are hurting due to climate change. If animals are affected, don't you think we are being affected also? But again, we the humans are a reason for it. But can we really change the climate? We are a growing population that really does use a crazy amount of resources, especially in the past 100 years since we've all become so civilized and all. But again, can we really change the climate? Well, has our population helped cause a recent study in that one out of every four fish caught in our waters has a higher than recommended mercury rating? Yes. Have we made a trash dump at least twice the size of Texas in the Pacific Ocean from all the trash that's accumulating? Yes. And have we humans polluted the air so much above areas like China that people, especially the children, are seeing a huge increase in health problems? Yes. So maybe we just are killing our climate. That's some freaky stuff. I mean, you gotta have a sense of humor or you're gonna go crazy in this world. Now my father, he made me this lamp when I was a kid. It has a meter and it runs. He wanted to teach me that all my actions have some kind of value or consequence to them. Now we share this earth with 6.7 billion people and I'd like to think that we all have a meter and we want that meter to turn as slow as possible. So what kind of house we have, how big our families are, what kind of food we eat, what kind of car we drive, it all affects that meter. And now to check out some other interesting information, look at the video's description on the side. And as always, thanks for watching.